Very special 2K match. I know, try not to flop, Libby. Ugh, oh, Libby's never flopped. She's not you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to 2K Mats, it's Matt Palmer. And it's Matt Steele! And Matt Steele has a special guest he'd like to introduce to us. I do, Who's I do! Who's the special guest for this, today's video? The special guest yes. is one of my bestest, bestest, bestest friends in the oh entire world gosh. from New Jersey. She flew all the way across the country for the first time ever. I would like to introduce everybody to Miss Libby! Libby! Libby, Libby, welcome. Welcome to 2K Libby was How do you feel? I feel honored to be on 2K Mats. In honor of Libby visiting us, we are going to talk about my favorite topic ever, which is me. Since I've known Libby for like 15 years, and I've lived with Matt Palmer for like four and a half years now, Matt Steele, myself, has come up with a beautiful list of questions and we are going to see who gets the most right, who knows Matt Steele better, who is the better friend. This seems a little unfair seeing as four and a half to fifteen years, but it's fine. Well we spent like school together. Like, yeah, you were going yeah, to classes. Yeah, and... yeah. We went to senior prom together. Oh yeah. yeah, she was my senior prom date. You guys make out? Yeah, totes. No mm. way. <laughs> you can just see it all over your no. faces. We did. There's so much tension. <laughs> no, let's just jump into the questions. Alright, I'm nervous about them. We're ready. Here's a fun basic one. Who was the first person I I told I was gay. <laughs> this is unfair because it's in her friend group. Do you have to have both names? No. You no, know, it, it could be first name. Okay. I'm actually nervous that I got this wrong. How? Really? We love it. I forgot. Okay. okay. Reveal your answers. Go. Amanda? Mancino? Steve. It's Steve. Ah! No! Amanda was the first girl I told I was Oh gay. my Steve god. Steve was the first we, person. We literally told talked about this the other day and you we said did. Amanda Mancino. Well, out of our friends, it was Amanda. But Steve was technically first. Do I get bonus points for saying where it was? Yes, sure. I, no, 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 no bonus points. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Next okay. question. Next question. Okay. My dog growing up was named E.T. Those were initials. That's what we called it. What did those initials stand this for? This is ridiculous. I've told you both these stories. You talk a lot. <laughs> I know, but like, I talk about really interesting things. Is this so interesting? So you should remember. Yes, my dog, my E.T. This is a mess. I thought you would totally get this. <laughs> I know! Why don't I know this? I guess. Oh, jeez. I don't even want to imagine what you're trying to see what mine is. It could be right. You never know. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it is. It should be right. It's a cute name, the one I just thought of. <laughs> you weren't paying attention to me every you time. You talk I all the time. I know you're the old dog's name. It, Bullet. But Bullet the Rottweiler. That is, why well, I have another dog with black lab. What was her name? Didn't think so. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm blanking. Just make something up. <laughs> like, in the end, what does this matter anyway? This matters to the fans. This dog is long dead. <laughs> oh. R.I.P.E.T. R.I.P.E.T. 1994 to 2010. This is so old for dogs. He was very old. He had a great life because he had a great name. What was his name? Edward Tyler. I said Ernest Timothy. <laughs> Are you both serious? <laughs> you can't even get one of the names right? What is it? E.T.'s full name was Edelweiss Templeton. How could we not and, yeah, know I know. How could we not that? know? It's so obvious. Because I told you all the story a million times. No, My dad haven't. named him Edelweiss because he was singing the song Edelweiss when he got him. And E.T. E. sat on his lap. My dad was like, well, his name's Edelweiss. By the time this video's <laughs> over, I will have forgotten that. <laughs> so this one, you can get zero to three points. Oh, oh geez. There are three foods that I will refuse to eat under any circumstances. Oh my god. Name them. You can name one to two to three. Uh, or you can take a bunch of guesses and see which one sticks. I feel like I can think of one, two, one, two, three, four, three, four, 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 four. Oh! Mm. No, you like that. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we <laughs> clarified this. I'll give you a hint. Two are usually liquid form. Like liquid? Liquid. Like not solid, not a gas. Sure, yeah. but like, like a, there are things that aren't liquid that aren't solid. Like what? Like things in between. <laughs> <laughs> you won't eat plasma. <laughs> Reveal your answers. What are yours? Ketchup, coffee, and hot chocolate. Raw tomato, ketchup, mustard. They are raw tomatoes, ketchup, and coffee. Perfect. So I got oh, two. Yeah, you got two. Good job. Amazing. You're still That's losing. Good. I'm fine. I got two of those ridiculous questions. Hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate. This one could be any sort of answer. There are an array of choices. What? Name a dream role that I have in the musical theater canon. It cannot be a role that I have previously played. Oh, that's oh. unfair! This is so subjective. Oh, you've specifically said about certain things that you know, you'd be great at them. And uh, does that count as a dream role? Write an answer and I'll see what I No! <laughs> this is what I don't like. There are no rules. I like rules. There's like two roles that I've definitely said to you these are our dream roles. I'm pretty positive that you've never played this role. You've been in this show, but you've never played this oh, role. Oh, this is interesting. I really have no idea what you're about to say. Reveal your answers. What's your answer? Harold Hill and Music Man? What's your answer? Peggy and Hamilton. 
which you said you'd be great at. <laughs> and it's me in that video that I can point out to us. So Harold Hill is not one of my dream roles, actually. I, this, I think the show is perfection, but Harold Hill specifically, I don't think I'd be that great at it. Peggy was not one of my dream roles. <laughs> Before you said that, but now that you said that, it is. Now it is. Matt Palmer has a point. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm yeah. right in. Now yes. you both are tied. All right. All right. Oh my god. Right. Give us some dream role options that you had to yeah. play. The, the, M Finch. the MC in Cabaret. Ooh. Okay. Oh, you have said that. And the Baker in Into the Woods. And of course, Effie in Dream Girls. I don't know no. if you're right for that. This one's multiple choice. Neither of you I have revealed this to ever, so like, it'll All just right. be a guessing game. I had an imaginary friend when I was a little boy. What was his slash her name? Is it A, Alice? B, Piglet, or C, Nathan? Reveal your answers. What was it? Nathan? C, Nathan. Alice. Oh. oh. Sorry, guys. That's okay. It was Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Oh. Great. <laughs> I have been playing the violin since I was eight. Name another instrument that I can play. There are two other instruments I can play. I'm not saying I'm good at them. Well, that's not great, because everyone can play anything. I can pick up a fucking No, but like, bag. I can, I have, like, played full songs on these things. This is wrong. Okay, reveal your answers. This is wrong. Trumpet. Cello. No, it's the upright string bass. And I realized like I kind of gave it away when I did this, but whatever. That's why I did cello. <laughs> I thought cello would be too so obvious when he was doing that. No, the upright string bass and the flute. Okay, I wasn't gonna say it. Was. And the flute slash piccolo, but like flute, piccolo, potato, potato. What was the very first Broadway show I ever saw? Both of you should know oh this. God. Answer. Oh, this is gonna be wrong because I don't think it would have been on Broadway. Yeah, that's uh, what? <laughs> no, like I don't think it would have been on Broadway for you to have seen it. I know this is wrong. Well, reveal them. All right. I know this is wrong because it wasn't on. It wouldn't have been on Broadway. What was it? Sound of Music. Sound of Music. What was yours? King and I. No, it was The Sound of Music. Ah! It was the 1998 revival of The Sound of Music. Okay. That's the, that was the last question, oh you guys. God. You spent like how many hundred dollars to come and visit me, and Matt Palmer has yet to spend a hundred dollars on me. And you sat there and listened when he pretended to be straight, so something I could never do. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so you've always won in the end. We You're always, always the better friend. Uh, we hope you learned a lot about me. Yes, and a little about the other two uh, people here. <laughs> okay. He deserves to win, because it means you complain to him more. But he does complain playing a lot here. Same. Allie's made a more of a whiner. <laughs> I'm not a whiner. What would you call it? I, I would say I'm more of an, a, an observer <laughs> and I talk about what I observe. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Two Gay Mats or me at Matt Palmer Music. And it's Matt Steele. Make sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Two Gay Matt. Like our video, subscribe to us, comment below about how amazing Libby is. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you. And we'll see you very soon with a brand new episode of Two Gay Mats. Yeah, we love you guys. Right, bye guys. Bye. bye.